We're back from dinner break. Stinky on my left has not returned yet. Can you still smell them? Absolutely. Uh, maybe the clothes. She didn't even clean the clothes. So even five minutes go by. He returns wearing the same clothes as before. Yeah. 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 Problems good? Nope. Did you shower? Uh, that's none of your business. Bro. 900. You got the hygiene problem? Yeah. Shower and everything? I mean, yeah. You can smell it. Ooh, the dealer yeah. can smell it. Everybody can smell it. It's horrible. Well, you can, you can, one second, one second. Go to the spa and check my name is checked in. Proof. Proof. Like, 100% guarantee. You can go, go to the spa here. I'm, I can give you my ID. You can see that I checked in. I mean, there's no actual proof that I took a shower, but why would I check in if I didn't shower? Like, I told you I did. So, if it's this problem, like, I don't, do it. I don't care. It's everybody's problem. It's no, not just mine. You're the only one who complained about Everybody it. Everybody else agrees. What do you smell? Sort of B L E. We're trying to be rude. Not trying to be rude, but yeah, yeah. I'm just walking this way right away. Well, I just told you, I took a shower. I just put in your jacket, baby. Yeah, maybe. Could be. Put that in your backpack. Dash, you know, because I had some. Yeah. Why don't you get that in your backpack? Oh, yeah, that's, that's terrible. Sure is. No, it's, it's, it's my jacket. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not me. The floor pulls him aside. He's missing hands. I can hear them speaking. The floor tells him to go buy some deodorant and put on deodorant. He says, I will file a civil claims court lawsuit against you if you disqualify me from this tournament. I overhear this and say, disqualify him, he's bluffing. The floor laughs. The floor is on my side, he, he notices the stench. Everybody at the table knows the stench. So something must be done. Stinky sits down on my left again. With, with every walk by and every sit down, the stench intensifies. The floor concluded that it was the hoodie he was wearing that still stinks. So they made him remove the hoodie and put it in his backpack. No, I promise you it's not my, my body. It's body. Like, I, I can guarantee it. Right okay, well, I just, I just got that motion of the jacket. Give it a couple of to settle in with jacket. I mean, you're a nice enough guy, but it stinks. I mean, it's, it's an awkward situation. Look, but... man, we talked about it. If you want to talk about it more, talk to the floor, all right? Don't talk to me. I have. Yeah. It's not my problem I think anymore, it was right? that jacket. Yeah, it was really the jacket. Bad. It's kind of that guy. Smell them too? No, you didn't smell them yet. You will. All right, I'm gonna keep playing. If you guys want to kick me out, that's your yeah, choice. You but I'm not gonna. The whole you table agrees. Sorry, I'm coming back. Sorry, I don't care about anyone at the table. You, you clearly don't care about anybody at the table. Else you shower. I need one from me. Shut the fuck up. Hey, 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 hey! I gave you it before I took it on my back. Okay. Kick him out. He doesn't want to play. He doesn't care about anybody at the table. He said it. That's not exactly right. I heard what you said. I didn't. I said, "Why don't you?" And then, uh, yeah. Well, you, you I wasn't, it. Yeah, no, but I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah. That's I didn't. I didn't say that. As I said, "Why don't you?" As in, stop talking. It was definitely a bad way to say it. But you it was directed something. it towards seat nine. So, uh, so I heard it. It's a one rounder. So one rounder. Come on. Yeah, I just can't wait to slow roll you, man. I hear and he, and he wanted us to believe he, could, he went to the spa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick. You can smell them too, right? Yeah. It's, it's incredible. It, it will be great if you, if you smell You can smell them. <laughs> the whole table can smell them. We should just vote him off. It's the only way he's going to get rid of it. The best thing is... You, you can smell it? <laughs> yeah, she can smell it. Yeah. She's right there. Sure Random people. Right Random there. people. <laughs> Maybe you can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> it will be great. Oh, he's on a one-round penalty. Maybe he can uh, take a shower on his next uh, <laughs> round penalty. Yeah, Well, he, lied, he clearly lied about taking a shower. When I asked him, he just paused and was like, uh, yeah, I w went to the spa <laughs> here. You can check the tapes. Oh, yeah. 
What you had him on that? In the in the same clothes. Oh, I would have paid for him to get a rub and tug. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Table change. <laughs> another another shower, another new shirt, and, and pants, <laughs> underwear. Listen, listen. A after this, guys, let's not talk about it anymore. Shower, lathered in deodorant, and new shirt. He's coming back to the table. Let's quit it. Where is he showering? At the spa, right there. Oh, the one you allegedly already went to. Eight thousand. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just. It's over. At least, at least the odor's half gone because of the dinner break, right? No, it's the same. Nothing's changed. He didn't shower. He's wearing the same clothes. Well, C three can smell it. The whole table smells well, he's it. He's getting a new, new shirt, shower, and all that. And I, I witnessed him lather all that. Whole, but that, whatever it's that not good. Deodorant's not going to solve the problem. He admitted he hasn't showered in three days and he's proud of it. How can you let these creatures play? Just qualify him. Give him his money back. Do something. We we paid enough rake for his entry okay. alone. I, I I know the story. I know it's funny. I know it's awkward. But it's a serious funny, business. It's not awkward. I, I have a headache. 4000 4, All right, well, he's gone. Good. He's got new shirts and stuff. Good. The masseuse behind his seat at the other table looks back and gives me the, the, the flared nostril look. It, she can still smell him from his backpack, which contains the mysterious hoodie that's just covered in his stench. She reaches into her pouch and offers me a vial of tea tree oil. <laughs> I say thank you, sniff it, pour it on his chair. <laughs> and pass it around the table. All the way around. She e e encourages us to put it under our nose like a smelling salt so we can't smell the stench. Even though he's not there, it's still there. I'm trying to focus, I'm trying to play my A game. I'm not trying to tilt and worry about this shit, but here we are. 10, 20 minutes go by, he comes back. The floor tells him he still has five more hands before he can sit back in. How many more hands? Uh, probably one, two, just five. Three, two, five. You're right in the middle, so you got yeah. five more. Okay, I got a spot where you can push your backpack. Well, I thought he said it wasn't at that point. Well, we're gonna just... Make sure. We're in the same pants. Stink is in the pants. I don't know how he showered and changed clothes in this time. He's wearing the same jeans. He's got some Adidas polo golf shirt on. I don't know where that came from. But as he walks by, he still reeks like a skunk. A skunk. You know what a skunk smells like? Yeah, that, that's what's up. So I'm trying to stay composed. The whole table's in agreement that he stinks and they've had to deal with it for the last six hours. Seat four isn't even close to him. He says he's a sommelier. He's used to sniffing exotic wines all day. He, he has a very sensitive nose and it's affecting him. This is a big problem. You know, you can make light of this, but in the end of the day, I still have to sit next to this guy. The floor has offered me such solutions as, oh, he's gonna bust soon. Yeah, well, guess what? He's still in. He's still got chips. The tension at the table is palpable. When he finally came back from his penalty, no one said a word, just tension. So, here we are with two hours left in the day, and uh, we're gonna make the best of it to bag and tag. Hopefully, uh, you know, just stay in our A game and try to breathe to our right, because all the stink's coming from the left. This is not stinky. I wouldn't be sitting this close to him on my 20 minutes of freedom. But I hope you guys can understand, and I hope I am the white Rosa Parks of dealing with body odor in poker tournaments. Take a stand when Stinky's at your table. See you guys in two hours. There is no pain you are with blinds at 300-600. Open middle position with king, queen of clubs. Stinky on my left flat calls and the big blind calls. The flop comes. Six deuce deuce rainbow. Checks to me. I bet 1800. Stinky calls. 
Turn is a beautiful one, a queen. At this point I'm putting him on 6x or a mid pair, possibly ace high. So I want to set it up for a turn and river jam. So I bet 3,300 on the turn. He is exactly 10,000 behind. He puts in the call. The river's one of the worst cards in the deck. The ace of spades, bringing the back door spades, although I don't think that's too likely. And ace high floats, also not very likely. Still put him on a mid pair type hand after calling the turn. But I don't see much value in shoving anymore, so I check. He shoves. I go in the tank and put in the call. He shows ace, queen of hearts, and we double him up. With blinds at 400, 800, we have 26,000. Action folds to the hijack who opens for 1,800. Cut off calls, and we have queen jack off on the button. My gut says to just three bet fold this hand. We block ace queen, pocket jacks, pocket queens, king queen, stuff like that. But we're gonna go the low variance route and put in the call. Small blind folds and the big blind calls. Flop comes, jack, eight, five, rainbow. Good flop for our hand. Two checks, original caller bets 2200. Uh, good raise, but I think that's over wrapping our hand, so we just put in the call on the button in position. Other two players fold. The turn is a nine, so six seven gets there, small possibility. Uh, a few two pair combos and queen 10 get there. He now bets 4500. Of course, we have top pair with the nut straight draw, gut ball, gutter. I think it's pretty close, but we put in the call. Let's see what happens on the river. The river's an offsuit three. He has about 30,000 behind and he bets 8,000. Sure looks like a value bet and I can't think of really any hands that he's bluffing with. King, queen, jack, 10, thin value. What do we beat here? Not too much, not too much. And I put in the fold. I asked to see one and he just flips up the top one and it's a nine of spades. So I think it's very likely he had a hand like pocket nines or jack nine suited. And we made a good fold on the river. We play for another 40 minutes and fold every hand. I love 10 handed poker. And we bag up 14,300 chips. Not the desired result, but we did survive today too. Pretty frustrating day. It's pretty irate with the whole stinky situation. The Grand Simulator just loves, loves trolling me, I swear. These things cannot be coincidence. Of course, I double up the stinky guy. But that's poker, and it makes me really like this game less and less the more I play it. The skill edge is narrowing, is that a word? Getting more narrow, which just makes the rake more of a factor. So it just makes it more luck based if everyone is near the same skill edge and no one's making huge mistakes. Variance is high, rake is high, spirits are low. We're coming back Monday at 11 o'clock for day two with 14 blinds. I know what to do with that. We can definitely build that up and uh, start fresh. So let's keep a positive attitude. Crush online tomorrow, big Sunday come back strong on Monday. Never give up. Bye.